Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rajai. Today we are going to learn about the topic of explaining the difference between leaders and managers, leadership and its significance to an organization, application of several leadership in an organization, and different views of motivation. Please listen to the following PowerPoint presentation, and I will return at the end of that to discuss key points. Chapter 7. Leading Technical People Management functions is divided into Planning Decision making Organizing Leading Controlling This chapter covers about leading Objectives Explain the difference between leaders and managers Describe the nature of leadership and its significance to an organization. Address the application of servant leadership in current organizations. Recognize the different views of motivation. John Quincy Adams says that, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Managers are Good administrators, ask how and when, focus on the system, do things right, maintain, short-term perspective, imitate, and they are a copy. Whereas leaders are, innovative, ask what and why, focus on people, do the things right, develop, longer-term perspective, originate, and they are original. Leadership Nature of Leadership it is the ability to get people to do what they don't want to do and like it. Some of the leadership traits are Physical qualities Personal attributes Character attributes Intellectual qualities Autocratic Diplomatic Consultative and participative leadership examples Jack Welch Shackleton Rudy Giuliani Oprah Winfrey Bill Gates George Washington Sun Tzu and Bill Swanson servant leadership Practical philosophy which supports people who choose to serve first. Then lead as a way of expanding service to individuals and institutions. Motivation Dale Carnegie states that, there is only one way under high heaven to get anybody to do anything. And that is by making the other person want to do it. Some of the motivation theories, which are proposed by McGregor Maslow Herzberg McGregor proposed Theory X and Theory Y Theory X, Authoritarian Management Style Theory Y, Participative Management Style Maslow's Hierarchy Physiological Safety Love Esteem Self-actualization Higher level Self-actualization, realizing one's full potential, creativity, self-development Esteem, self-respect, prestige, recognition Affiliation, acceptance by others, being part of a group Lower level Security or safety, job security, predictable work environment. Physiological, food, shelter, air, water. Herzberg's two-factor theory. Motivator factors that are intrinsic to the job. Hygiene factors that are intrinsic to the job. Hygiene factors. Salary. Working conditions 
Company policies. Relationship with boss. Relationship with peers. Motivator factors. Recognition. Work itself. Responsibility. Advancement. Achievement. Behavior modification. Positive reinforcement. Negative reinforcement, or avoidance. Punishment. Extinction. Differences among technical professionals. Scientists versus engineers. Field of technical employment. In this chapter, we discussed the importance of leaders versus managers in running a company. Most people confuse between leaders and managers. For companies to be successful in highly competitive global market of today, they need to have leaders with vision and charisma and motivational abilities to set the tone for mission and vision of the company in the future. But companies also need effective, disciplined, and highly skilled managers to run daily operation of the business.